I've been trying to figure out what I want to do in life. I want to pursue something that I enjoy, motivates me, is meaningful, is fulfilling, helps people and brings me happiness. What I'm trying to get at is I'm trying to find my passion. The issue is I don't know what my passion is. I don't know if I want to work as a doctor for the rest of my life. Maybe I want to pursue my medical career through YouTube or do something else outside of medicine. I don't know. However, I found something interesting and helpful to figuring that out and I want to share it with you in this video. I recently watched this video where Jeff Bezos talks about how he makes decisions. He talks about something called regret minimization framework, <laughs> which aims to minimize future regret. The whole idea behind it is what choices can you make today to reduce the chances that you'll regret your life choices when you're 80? When you minimize future regret, you'll feel good knowing you're making the most out of your life. I'll leave a link in the description for those interested in watching that video. I know some people are probably gonna think, Oh my god, you're a doctor with a stable income and a decent paying job. What more do you want in life? That's a good question. Here's my answer. Uh, I feel like most of us are chasing an outdated dream. Pretty sure I'm not alone on that feeling. But hear me out. Growing up, our parents, friends, and society have shaped our way of thinking to believe that the rules for a happy, stable life is going to college, getting a degree, work a nine to five job, make decent money, save up for retirement, have a nice home and car, and finally retire at 70 something years old, having lived a relatively safe life. Now, that sounds fun and dandy, and if that's what you want, go for it. But don't get me wrong, I love my work and I'm blessed and grateful for everything I have in life but I don't want medicine to be the only thing that defines me. So the other day I sat down with myself and thought, would I be happy following this path I'm already on till I retire or could I do something else? I imagine what my life would look like 20 years from now by looking at those who were ahead of me on the same track. And not to sound pretentious, but I don't think I would enjoy doing the same work over and over again till I'm 40 or till I retire at 70 something years old. Don't you agree, Wilson? Yeah, even Wilson agrees. Anyways, I recently read The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss and I gotta say, this book is amazing. It gave me a new perspective on how to approach life, especially when it comes to work and pursuing my passions. On page 33, he says, For all of the most important things, the timing always sucks. Waiting for a good time to quit your job, the stars will never align and the traffic lights of life will never all be green at the same time. The universe doesn't conspire against you, but it doesn't go out of its way to line up all the pins either. Conditions are never perfect. Someday is a disease that will take your dreams to the grave with you. Pro and con lists are just as bad. If it's important to you and you want to do it eventually, just do it and correct your course along the way. The point is, I can put my medical career on pause or take on less extra work to pursue my passions. And if things don't work out, I can go back to medicine and that applies for most other jobs too. I understand people have responsibilities in life. I mean, I do as well. I need to figure out how to afford a house, paying my bills, paying back my student loans. These are certain things I can't do without getting paid, but you could still make it happen nevertheless. If you're still in doubt, I highly recommend reading The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. Now, onto the exercise that helped me figure out what I wanna do in life. If you want, pause the video, go grab a piece of paper, and write down the values that are important to you when pursuing a new project or venture. It could be anything. In my case, the values that are important to me are as follows. Craftsmanship, can you be creative and improve your skills with what you create? Learning, do you become more knowledgeable and gain skills from it? Adventure, is it novel? Is it memorable? Is it challenging? Socials, do you bond with others? Money, do you get money from it? After writing down your values, figure out which pursuit aligns best with your values. You can rank each of your value from most to least important to help guide your decision. Here's my personal ranking of the values I chose. As a side note, our values change with time, so whatever you write today may differ the next month or even next year or even the next week. So in my case, I'm pursuing YouTube. Go figure. Therefore, I put craftsmanship at the top. I enjoy trying to be creative and being good at what I'm doing, which is making videos. Am I succeeding? I like to think so, but there's definitely room for improvement. A lot of it. I'm still a baby YouTuber and it's a long and challenging road ahead of me. You see that? That's a long and challenging road. Which brings me on to the second most important point, learning. I enjoy learning, at least things I find interesting and useful. So when pursuing YouTube, it reinforces the knowledge I learn when making these videos. Because I end up having to research whatever I'm talking about, I'm learning how to script, 
edit, using the camera, and the list goes on. I've also wanted to make a habit of reading books regularly and making these videos has really reinforced that habit for me. My third value is adventure. Is it novel? Yes, very. It's something new and it's thrilling and every new video is a challenge I thrive to understand and solve. It also forces me to do things which I usually never do. I'm hoping to film outside and interview people, hopefully go on random adventures and experience new things. Fourth value is socials. I enjoy connecting with others through my videos and I love talking to y'all in the comments. It's probably the most social thing I, I do here. Socials is an important value to me, especially when pursuing YouTube, because I believe YouTube is an amazing platform to meet other like-minded people. Lastly, let's talk about money. Money is important, but it's not that important. Sure, money gives us the freedom to do whatever we want and it creates financial stability, but it's not everything in life. It's not that money is not important, but when pursuing my passion, I would rather want to enjoy it than do it for monetary gains. Therefore, money is ranked last on my list. I know I made it in life if I can open my fridge and see it full. Everything else I own or buy is extra materialistic bullshit. Since we're already talking about money, have you heard of hedonic adaptation? It's the idea that people usually return to their baseline level of happiness no matter how much more money they make. Becoming very rich is only appealing to those who've never been fulfilled in life. However, I genuinely believe if you love whatever you do in life, the money's gonna come somehow. Think of it like this. Success is having the freedom to focus on whatever you enjoy doing. Just because you've made it in life doesn't mean you stop working. After all, there's a one in 400 trillion chance of you being born and alive. So make the most out of it. Imagine your life at 80. Do you wanna live a life full of regret? For me, the answer is a clear no. The only thing I would regret is not having ever tried whatever I wanted to try. Even if I don't succeed, I won't regret it. If there's one thing I would regret, it's not having ever tried. Whatever you wanna do, just do it. This video is not sponsored by Nike, by the way. Sorry for the shitty joke. For now, I'm passionate about medicine and YouTube, and I'm curious to see where life takes me next. But I'm open to new possibilities and adventures along the way. Who knows, my values will most likely change, and so will my pursuits. That's the beauty of life. It's always changing, provides new opportunities for growth, learning, and personal development. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care and have a blessed day. JB signing out. Peace.